pay for it and like going into 20 something <laughs> um and i don't know it was a really eye-opening experience which kind of brings me to you and griff were having a bit of a little i don't think it's just me and griffin i think in general right now everyone makes me feel like all i'm doing is making videos and that's my career and like that isn't my career and it's like i know it's not a law job my work is real and i'm not getting the validation from the people that i love most and if they can't validate me then like it hurts sometimes as a person who struggles with the idea about validation i can tell you that you're gonna have to figure out a way to validate yourself it's nice to want those things from your family, but it's also one of those things where you can't expect other people to hold your happiness for you. There's gonna have to come a time where you really sit with yourself and ask, how can I, right, be a better person in order for other people to understand these things? I need to, because they think my work is a joke. But the general like thing is, I'm doing everything that makes me me. So like, even when sometimes I seem like I might not be that happy or like I feel like I'm overworking myself, I love it at the same time. I used to be an athlete. I don't have sports anymore. So I'm competing versus myself in different ways. But at the end of the day, I am proud of who I am. This is some built up emotions, but like. Something struck a nerve in this conversation with hope that really brought out those emotions. Maybe it's not my family and maybe it's just my ego telling me that I need this validation. Hope does know the work that I'm doing and she reminds me to be proud of myself.